Hi, I'm going to show you how you can use an Android phone to do voice recordings or inter interviews. Now, because I'm on an Android, different phones are going to have, like different models of phones, are going to have slightly different looking interfaces and different themes, you know, that you might apply to your Android phone are potentially going to make the icons look different and things like that. So, just with that in mind, um, this is a basic tutorial. So one of the things that you first want to do is you want to go and find uh, wherever it is that you launch your apps. So I'm going to click down there on the bottom in the middle and I'm going to look for a thing called voice recorder. The other thing that you could have done is you could have just searched for voice recorder through your search toolbar. Okay, so I just opened voice recorder and uh, you know there's some different options that I have. So I've got the standard, I've got interview which will give me like in mine, it gives me a little piece of information that the mic is sensitive to sounds from both the top and the bottom. So uh, it tells you to keep your phone kind of level for the best results. Anyway, so you can close that tip um, and you can do an interview. You can also do a voice memo, however you want to do this. Um, so if I were to press this little red button down here, it would start recording. While I have voice memo selected, it would actually start to also show me the words on the screen so it also creates like a, a textual version of what you're saying. I don't need that so I'm going to just click back over here to standard and press this little red button down here. You can see in the timeline as I'm talking the waveforms are being created. So anyway, um, as it keeps moving I'm going to go ahead and click save and then it saves it right here in the recording section. Okay so uh, I finished recording that and it popped me over to this recordings screen and you can see here that I've got a recording and it just automatically labels it with a uh, default name and then uh, the serialized number and if I wanted to rename it I can long press it so I can click and hold and then I can go up here to more and I can choose rename and then I can just type something I don't know I'll just call this a uh, test file or something like that okay so I'll click on rename and then I've renamed it. And if you want to listen to it, you can hit the play button. Okay, so I will, however. All right, and then there's a pause button. And if you want to share directly from here, well, one of the things you can do is go up here to more, and then you can click on share, and you can share straight from here. Um, I'm gonna recommend that you, if you don't have a Google Drive set up, I'm gonna recommend that you do it. If you have a Gmail address, you automatically have access to Google Drive. Um, if you have an Android, it should automatically come with Drive. If it doesn't, you can always uh, install it as an application. All right, so, or you could just email it to yourself as well. There's, there's going to be an email option from here. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm going to click on Google Drive or Save to Drive and show you an example using that. And uh, you could also rename it here for the sake of putting it up to your Drive. And um, I'm going to save it to my uh, Gmail account. And one of the things, and actually, let's let's rename this file. Uh, let's if I click here, my keyboard will pop up, and so I will call it um, audio test. Okay. Let's do audio test, and you'll notice that the uh, file extension is M4A. That is going to be a pretty standard um, audio file type when you're recording from one of these devices, either like an Android or an iPhone, and so. Um, you are probably going to need a program like Audacity in order to um, import that file and then export it out as something that's usable in other programs like uh, Premiere doesn't like M4As at least at the time of this pr uh, recording. So if you were going to use this t as part of a video using Premiere then you would need to translate this M4A file using a program, an audio uh, program like Audacity or something so that it's either um, uh, like an mp3 or you can also you know make it like a AIFF etc. You can't really do that straight from here though. Anyway so I, I'm gonna do that and then next I'm gonna choose my folder. Right now I have it set to the folder that I want to use so I'm gonna go here and show you if I click on audio clips it has some other stuff in here, I could just save it and you know say select folder. The other option is if I click this back area, back arrow, it shows you some other stuff that uh, 
other folders that are in my drive. So it doesn't, for some reason, doesn't automatically pop up showing you this um, screen. I wish it did, but it doesn't. So you would have to select your folder that you have of all of the different folders you've made in your drive and uh, put it in the right folder. So I'm going to save it here, click on select folder down on the bottom, and uh, go ahead and hit save. And so it's going to be up in my drive now. So if I am on a computer at school or any other computer anywhere, I can just uh, go log into my Google Drive account. And uh, the way that you would do that is just, you know, if you go log into your Gmail, it's going to automatically give you the little uh, four grid icon in the top right. And you would click on that, go to your drive, find the folder you put it in, and you can download it from there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can go onto a computer and log into your Google Drive and then um, get those audio files that we just made. So go to google.com and then what you should see up in the right corner is a link to Gmail, images, and this little grid and maybe if you have an avatar it'll show your avatar. So uh, I'm going to click on this little grid and I'm going to grab Drive. It might be in a different location. This is just how I have my stuff set up for my Google account. So go to the Drive and then if you've created folders, you're going to see all those folders. And then remember from the demo, we have something called audio clips. So I'll go inside of that. And here was our file called audio test. And if I double click it, it will start to load. And uh, okay. anyway, that's it started to do a playback. And so now what I want to do is just click on this download button. Okay, and it pops up here, and I could name it whatever I want. Now, ideally, what you're going to want to do is not just download it wherever. Right now, it's on my desktop. In an ideal world, you would want to download it into your project folder under the audio files. So if for some reason, like, you don't already have that made, like, what you would want to do is I'm just going to create a project folder. I'll just call it some project, whatever your project name is. Okay. And then inside of that, I'm going to create another new folder that's called audio. All right. And then that's where I would download my file. And it tells me what the file format is right here. Go ahead and save it. And um, if you want to make sure that it works, oh, and then to get out of this, just click somewhere on the overlay screen. And uh, if you want to make sure it works, you can just double click it wherever you downloaded it. And uh, you can see here that I, this is my folder that I created called some project. There's my audio, and then there's my audio file. Okay, so uh, that's a really quick tutorial on how you can capture audio files on an Android and uh, then go ahead and upload them like with Google Drive. You could also email them to yourself. You can share them in a number of different ways. Also, you can check out, uh, there's a tutorial showing you how to use a website called SnapDrop, um, if that's still available at the time of this uh, video. So anyway, check out some different ways that you can share your big files.